Let's explore colors for Tim Play Popsicles. One shiny red strawberry. Wow, look at all the juice coming out. It's filling up the cup. Now, I'll dip my toy popsicle into the colored water. I wonder what will happen. Wow! It's turned into a strawberry covered popsicle. Strawberry. What toy fruit is this? It's an orange. Look at all the juice. What color is it? It's the color orange. I'll put the toy popsicle into the colored water. And wow! It's turned into an orange covered popsicle. Orange. What fruit is it? It's a banana. I'll dip the popsicle in the yellow water. I wonder what it will make. It's a yellow banana popsicle. Banana. Now, what's this fruit? It's a green pear. I'll put the popsicle into the green water. Let's see what it turns into. Wow! It's turned into a green pear popsicle. Pear. What toy fruit are these? They're blueberries. Wow! These blueberries have a lot of juice in them. All done. Now I'll dip the popsicle into the blue water. And look, it's turned into a blue colored popsicle. Blueberry. What toy fruit is it? These are purple grapes. Let's see what happens when I dip the popsicle into the purple colored water. Oh, it's turned into a purple grape covered popsicle. Grapes. The last toy fruit is a toy watermelon. Let's take a slice. Ah, oh, it's quite pink inside. I'll put my white popsicle into the colored pink water. And wow! It's turned into a pink watermelon popsicle. Watermelon. Wow! We made all these colorful toy popsicles today. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Rainybow. Today I'm making toy ice creams in Albert Tim Play Ice Cream Shop. Here's our first customer. What would they like? A strawberry ice cream. I need to prepare the strawberries. First, I'll cut off the stalk. I'll put this piece over here. Now, I'll cut another one. Great! Now we have two strawberries. Let's go wash them under the faucet. I'll just turn the water on. The water is flowing. The strawberries are getting nice and clean. I think they're washed. Let's turn the faucet off. I'll just take the lid off my toy blender and put the two strawberries inside. Put the lid on. Let's turn it on. Looks done. Let's see what we made. Take the lid off. 
just get my ice cream scoop to scoop out the ice cream. Here we go. We made some strawberry ice cream. Let's put it on the cone. I think I'll use this one. One strawberry ice cream. Coming right up. Now, can you help me put it back into the puzzle where it belongs? Hmm, it's got some frosting on top and some dots. There are four dots on top. One, two, three, four. I think that matches. Let's see if it fits. It does. This ice cream cost four coins. How many coins did our customer give us? Let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. Great job counting. Here's customer number two. What would you like? A pineapple and banana ice cream. First, I'll prepare the pineapple. I've cut it into two halves. I'll put this piece in the blender and throw away the other piece of the stalk. Now, I'll get the banana and peel it. I'll use this piece for that ice cream and throw away the peel. Put it in the blender. Place the lid on top and turn it on. Here we go. Looks done. Take the lid off and let's get out a scoop of toy ice cream. I'll use my ice cream scoop. We have one scoop of pineapple banana ice cream. Now, let's look for a cone. Hmm, I think I'll use this one. And now, I'll just put the ice cream scoop on top. Looks fantastic. Hmm, just I think I might add some extra sprinkles on top. Great! Now, can you help me find where the ice cream goes in the puzzle? Hmm, not here. How about here? It's got a squiggly line. And four dots. The pattern matches our ice cream. Let's turn it around to fit in the puzzle. This ice cream cost five coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. One, two, three, four, and five. Here's customer number three. He would like a grape-flavored ice cream. I'll just prepare the grapes. First, I'll wash them under the tap. They need to be nice and clean. Now, I'll just cut them in half. my blender and put the grapes inside. Put the lid on and turn it off. Looks done. Turn it off. Take the lid off and I'll just get my ice cream scoop. And here we go. I have my scoop of grape ice cream. Let's go find a cone. How about I use this one? I'll just put the scoop on top of the cone. Looks great. Hmm, I think I'll add some strawberry sauce. I think that'll be plenty of sauce, don't you? Great. Now, let's put it into the puzzle. Where does it belong? Ah, it belongs here. There are eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ice cream matches the pattern in the puzzle. Let's see if it fits. It does. This ice cream cost three coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, Three. Great counting. Here's customer number four, and she would like blueberry ice cream. I have my blueberries. I just need to wash them. 
I'll turn the tap on. That looks about right. And now I'll turn it off. And let's put them in the toy blender. Put the lid on. Turn it on. Here we go. Looks done. Turn it off. And I'll just get my ice cream scoop. I think I have it. And we've made one scoop of blueberry ice cream. All we need now is a cone. I think I'll pick this one. Just put the scoop on top. And look! We've made a blueberry ice cream. And I'll just add some sprinkles. Looks fantastic! Now, can you help me find where it belongs in the puzzle? Ah, I think it belongs here. They both have sprinkles, but it's upside down. We need to turn it around to make it fit. This ice cream cost two coins. Let's see how many coins our customer gave us. One, two, great. Here comes customer number five, and she would like a pink and yellow popsicle. I have my popsicle stick. Now, can you help me find the popsicle that is pink and yellow stripes? Here it is, we found it already. I'll just put it onto the popsicle stick. Great job. Now, where does it go in the puzzle? Mm-mm, not here. No, not here. Ah, I think it goes here. See, we have three stripes. One, two, and three. Just like our popsicle. It also has three stripes. It matches perfectly. This popsicle cost one coin. One. Here's customer number six. She would like this shape popsicle. I have my popsicle stick. Can you help me find a popsicle our customer would like? Hmm, it's not over here on the left. How about over here on the right? We found it already. I'll just put it onto the popsicle stick. Now, can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle? Hmm, uh-uh, not here or here. Ah, it goes here. It's shaped like the figure eight. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six dots on it. It matches. Great job. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. Here's customer seven. He would like this yellow popsicle with a squiggly line on it. I'll just get a popsicle stick. Now, all we need to do is find the top. Hmm, not that one. Hey, look, we found it already. Let's put the popsicle on top of the stick. Great job. Can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle board? Hmm, not here. No. Oh, how about here? See, it's got a squiggly line, just like the popsicle. Let's see if it fits. It does. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. One, two, and three. Here's customer number eight, and she would like a blue popsicle with white stripes. I have my popsicle stick. Let's go find the popsicle topping. Here it is, over here. I'll put the popsicle on top of the stick. Now, can you help me find where it goes in the puzzle? Hmm, not here. Uh-uh. No. Hmm, not here. Ah, it goes here. See, it has three stripes. Popsicle matches the picture. Let's put it back into the puzzle where it belongs. Let's count the coins. There's one. Two, three, and four. Customer number nine would like a vanilla and chocolate popsicle. I'll just get my popsicle stick. There's only one popsicle left and it's over here. Looks great. Hmm, I think I'll add some extra chocolate topping. 
Now, let's put it back in the puzzle board. Does it go here? No, hmm, not here. Or here. Ah, I think it goes here. See, it's got some toppings. The popsicle matches the picture. Great job. Let's count the coins our customer gave us. That's one and two. Our next customer, number 10, would like a strawberry. I have them in my fruit shop. I'll just cut the strawberry. Here we go. Let's put it back in the puzzle. Does it go here? No. Here? No. It goes here. Great job! Customer number 11 would like a mango. I'll just go to my fruit shop. I have a mango here. I'll just cut it in half. Can you help me put it back into the puzzle where it belongs? Hmm, not here. Hmm, no. Oh, yes, it goes here. Customer number 12 would like an apple. Hmm, I have this apple right here. Let's cut it in half. We have a green apple. Let's put it back into the puzzle. It goes right here. Great job! Our last customer would like an orange. Here it is. Let's cut a slice. One orange coming right up. Let's put it back in the puzzle. It goes here. Wow, we made so many things today in our ice cream store. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine popsicles and ice creams. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Rainybow. Today I'm working in the toy kitchen. Here's our first customer. What would she like? A hamburger. I've baked the burger buns already and they have sesame seeds on top. I'll just place them over here. Now, first I need to cook the burger patty. Where's my fry pan? Oh, here it is. I'll just get my spatula so I can flip the burger. I'll turn on the toy cooker and wait for the burger to cook. I'll flip it over so it cooks on both sides. Oh look, it's cooking. All done, it's time to turn off the cooker. I'll just get my spatula again and take out the burger. And let's go put it on the bun. Here we go. One beef patty. Now, what goes next? Ah, I know. I'll cook some cheese. I have this slice of Swiss cheese which will melt on the grill. You can hear it cooking. All done. The cheese is melted. Let's go place it on the burger. One slice of cheese coming right up. What goes next on the burger? Hmm, how about some tomato? Hmm, where is it? Can you see a tomato? Ah, here it is. Tomato. First, we need to wash it under the faucet. There's hot water and cold. I'll use the cold water. Turn it on. Let's get the tomato nice and clean. Looks great. Turn off the tap. Now we need to cut a slice of tomato. Great! Now we have our tomato slice. Let's place it on top of the cheese. What's next? Hmm, how about we use some onion? Can you see the onion? Here it is. Onion. Let's go cut a slice to place on the burger. One onion ring. We have four ingredients already on our burger. What's next? I have this carton of eggs. Hmm, how about I use this one? 
I'll turn on the toy grill and crack the egg open. Ooh, you can hear it sizzling. It's cooked already. I'll just get my spatula and get it out. Oh, first I'll turn off the toy grill. It's a little bit slippery and tricky to get out. Mm, I think I've got it. Here we go. Let's place it on the burger. Great job. And last, I'll add this slice of lettuce. I'll just get this tray here and place the burger on it. Now, what toppings will our customer like? I have two. Tomato ketchup and mayo. Which one? This one or this one? How about both? I'll just turn the top of the bun over and let's start with the tomato ketchup. Oh, I think that's enough ketchup, don't you? Put the lid back on. Hmm, now let's get the mayo. Open the top. Great, put the lid back on. The burger's nearly ready. All we need to do now is put the burger bun on top. Wow, our burger looks amazing. I can't wait to serve it to our customer. The burger cost five coins. The customer gave us five coins. Let's count them together. There's one, two, three, four, and five. One burger coming right up. Here's our next customer. He would like a seafood salad. I have all my greens. I have some spinach. We'll place a couple of leaves in the bowl. What else? There's some kale. Here we go. And last, I have some lettuce. I'll just get my spatula and spoon to mix up the lettuce leaves. Looks great. Now, what shall we add first to our salad? How about a carrot? Here it is. One carrot. Let's go wash it under the faucet. Turn it on. It looks clean. Let's turn off the water. Next, I need to grate the carrot. Now it's ready to cut up so we can put it in the salad. That's two slices of carrot. What else shall we put in the salad? How about a yellow pepper? Here it is. Pepper. Let's cut a slice. Great! Let's add one slice of pepper to the salad. Hmm. Now I think I'll use the eggplant. We have the eggplant. Now let's go cook it on the grill. All cooked. Now all I need to do is go and prepare it to put in the salad. First, I'll take off the stalk. We don't need that. And now I'll cut the eggplant in half. Great, we've got two slices of eggplant. Let's put them in the salad one too. It's a seafood salad, so we need to look for some fish. Here it is. One blue fish. Let's add it to the grill. Looks cooked. I'll just remove it from the grill. Now I need to cut the fillets of fish. That's one fillet. And two. We have two fillets of fish. I think I'll just use one for the salad. Hmm, what's next? How about we cook the crab? Put it on the grill. Oh, wow, it's turned into a lobster. Let's go get it ready for the salad. I think 
think I'll use this piece here. Here we go. What's next? How about I cook a couple of prawns? They look cooked. Let's get them off the grill and place them straight into the salad. This seafood salad's looking great. Almost done. Hmm. Now, I think I'll add some vinaigrette. And what else? Some salt and pepper. Add a little pinch of salt and some pepper. And now I'll just mix it around with my spatula and spoon. Looking good. I can't wait for the customer to see his seafood salad. All done. Looks amazing. There's so many things in this salad. Let's serve it up. Here we go. The seafood salad costs 10 coins. I'll just type 10 into the cash register. A customer gave us 10 coins. Can you help me count them? Here we go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great counting. One seafood salad coming right up. Here's customer number three, and she would like a pizza. I have the pizza base. Now, what's first? I know. First, we'll place some tomato paste on the bottom. That's one, two, three, and four. What's next? How about some cheese? That's one, two, three, and four. How about I use this can of black olives? Let's open it up. There's lots of olives inside. Let's place them on the pizza. It's one, two, and three. Hmm, what topping shall we use next? How about this slice of pepperoni? Two slices of pepperoni. Hmm, and now I'll use this green bell pepper. Pizza is starting to look really colorful. Hmm, maybe I'll add some slices of mushroom. That's one and two. Hmm, what's the last topping? How about a slice of yellow pepper? Looks all done. Oh, wait a minute. How about I add some parmesan cheese? Now we need to cook it in the pizza oven. Turn it on and wait for it to cook. All done. Let's take it out of the pizza oven. The pizza looks amazing. There's so many toppings, mushrooms, bell peppers, pepperoni, olives, tomato, and cheese. I'll just get a pizza box so we can package it up for our customer. I'll carefully place it in the box. There we go. And put the lid down. All done. Now let's go serve it up for our customer. Here we go, one pizza. The pizza costs six coins. Our customer gave us six coins. Let's count them together. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great counting. Oh, there's one last customer. She would like a slice of pizza. Luckily, I made an extra pizza. Now, I'll just get my pizza cutter and cut her a slice. This pizza has four quarters. Here's one slice of pizza, or one quarter. Let's serve it up to the customer. 
This slice of pizza costs two coins. And our customer gave us two coins. Let's count them. Here's one and two. Great job! Look at all the things we made today in our toy kitchen. We made a burger, a pizza, and seafood salad. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Let's learn about different types of foods with crayon surprises. First, we'll open the red crayon. Wow, look at all the red foods. These are tomatoes. Tomatoes are actually fruit because they have seeds inside. I'll just remove the stalk and let's cut a slice. One slice of tomato. Let's cut another slice. Tomatoes go great on pizza. What else can we put tomatoes on? Hmm, how about a hamburger? Lettuce and bun. That's one juicy burger. What's next? It's a red pepper. These are strawberries. Let's go prepare them. I'll just take the green stalk off first. I'll put this one over here. And let's cut a slice. What could we make with the strawberries? Ah, oh, I know. How about a smoothie? It's one and two. Now add some fresh milk. Put the lid on. And turn on the smoothie maker. Almost done. Pour it in the cup. Smoothies are a great way to get all your fruits and vegetables. I'll just place the lid on the top so the smoothie doesn't come out. Now all we need is a straw and we're all done. One smoothie. What's next? Ah, watermelon. Watermelon is a lovely summer fruit. Let's cut a slice. Two slices of watermelon. What else is there? Oh, a red apple. Let's cut a slice. First, I'll take the green stalk off. Apples are a great source of fiber, which is good for you. This is a chili. And chilies can be very hot. They come in all different colors. Some are green and some are red. Many dishes around the world use chilies to add flavor. What's our next crayon? It's the orange crayon. What shall we choose? How about this one? It's an orange. Orange is a fruit. I'll take the stalk off. Let's cut the orange in half. Oranges are a great source of vitamin C. Look inside. It's got lots of different segments. This is a fish. And fish is a source of protein. Two slices of fish. What are these vegetables? They're carrots. Let's go prepare them. First, I'll grate this carrot with a grater. This takes the skin off the outside. All done. Next, I'll cut some slices of carrot. One, two. Carrots are a great source of vitamin A, which is good for your eyesight. This is an orange pepper and it's related to the chili. What's next? It's a pumpkin. Did you know that a pumpkin is actually a fruit? See, it has seeds inside. Now let's open the yellow crayon. What shall we pick first? How about this? It's a banana. First, I'll peel the yellow skin on the outside. And the inside of the banana is pale yellow. Let's cut a slice. It's one and two. Banana slice. Bananas go great on pancakes. That's one, two, 
two and three slices of banana. Oh, and some blueberries. What type of vegetable is this? It's corn. Sometimes it's called maize. Corn actually comes in different colors and even multicolored, red, yellow, and brown. Here's a wedge of Swiss cheese. It has holes in it. And here's a slice of Swiss cheese. Hmm, what type of fruit is this? It's a mango. And a mango is a tropical fruit. Tropical fruit grow in countries that are close to the Earth's equator, like India and Southeast Asia. This is a lemon. And lemons are very sour. Lemons are a great source of vitamin C. And they're the main ingredient in lemonade. Oh, look! We have another tropical fruit. It's pineapple. Let's cut a slice. This is a pineapple ring. And the last fruit is a yellow pepper. It is a savory fruit. I wonder what's inside the green crayon. Let's open it. Wow, there are so many green fruits and vegetables. This one's green on the outside. It's a watermelon. And watermelons are red on the inside. What's this green vegetable? Hmm, let's open it up. Oh, there's beans inside. They're broad beans. What shall we choose next? How about this? It's a pear. Pears have an unusual shape. They're like a teardrop. I'll just take the stalk off and cut a slice. Pears can be used in all different things like pies, jellies, jams, and juice. What type of vegetable is this? That's right, it's a cabbage. I'll just peel off some leaves. That's one and two. What's this? It's a cucumber. Cucumber is a fruit. Let's cut a slice. Cucumbers are 95% water. Cucumber goes great in salads and sandwiches. Can you guess what this is? It's a bunch of asparagus. Asparagus is a vegetable and is related to onions and leeks. Hmm, what's this? It's a pea pod. Open it up and there are peas inside. Peas grow on vines. This is broccoli. Broccoli is a very healthy vegetable. Let's cut it up. Each slice is called a floret. I have three florets of broccoli. What's this long vegetable? It's a bean. Beans are picked from vines. We have another bell pepper. This time it's green. I'll just prepare it. Take the stalk off and cut it in half. We have two halves of green pepper. What type of fruit is this? It's a kiwi. Kiwis have lots of little seeds on the inside. And sometimes they can be a bit sour too. This is an avocado. It's a fruit. Avocados usually have a giant seed on the inside. Avocado is a main ingredient in guacamole. Our next crayon is the blue one. Let's open it up. I wonder what's inside. Oh, lots of different things. What's this? It's a blue cupcake. What else is there? We have blueberries, and a blue popsicle, and last we have a blue fish. I'll just cut some fillets. That's one, and two. Two fillets of fish. Next is the purple crayon. What types of things are purple? This is a purple cabbage. 
and a purple eggplant. First, I'll take the green stalk off and cut it in half. Did you know that eggplant is actually a fruit? What's this type of fruit? It's a mango steam. Let's cut a slice. Mango steam are a tropical fruit. This is a plum. Plums grow in colder climates. A plum is a fruit and when dried is called a prune. Oh <laughs> wow! What's this? It's bamboo. I'll cut one slice and another. We have three slices of bamboo. What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's grapes. Grapes are berries and they grow on vines. Humans have been growing grapes for thousands of years. What's this? Color purple, but people usually call it red onion. Let's cut a slice. This is an onion ring. Onion rings go great in sandwiches. Oh, I wonder what sort of things are inside the pink crayon. What's this? It's a macaron. It is a French treat. They are made from egg white, sugar, and flour. Here's a box of macarons. Wouldn't that be a nice gift for someone? What type of fruit is this? That's right, it's a dragon fruit. Dragon fruit grow on cactus vines. That's why there is spiky fruit on the outside. This is a pink pot of strawberry yogurt. What's next? Oh, it's a giant pink prawn. Prawn is a good source of protein. And here is a prawn cutlet. What's next? It's a pink ice cream. And a pink donut. Donut is a sometimes food. What type of fruit is this? It's a peach. A real peach is usually fluffy or fuzzy to touch on the outside. Peaches are a stone fruit because they have a large seed in the middle. This is a pink fish. Let's prepare the fish for cooking. Two slices of fish. There is only one crayon left. It's the brown one. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Wow, lots of things. This is ground beef and it goes in a taco. What's this? It's an egg. Let's go cook it in the toy kitchen. I have a fry pan. I'll just turn on the toy grill. Crack the egg. And watch it cook. You can hear it sizzle. All done. We have a fried egg. What's this? It's a mushroom. Let's go cut a slice. Two slices of mushroom. This is a bar of chocolate. And this is a loaf of bread. What else is there? Some ham. Let's go cut some slices. That's one and two. Have three slices of ham. What's next? Oh, it's a T-bone steak. This is a potato. A potato is a vegetable that grows under the ground. Next is a pancake with maple syrup and butter on top. What's this type of vegetable? It's an onion. Let's cut it in half. An onion inside has many different layers. Type of fruit. It's a kiwi. Its skin is brown and fuzzy on the outside and bright green on the inside. 
This is a chicken drumstick. Two pieces of chicken drumstick. Hmm, I have a cone. What goes with the cone? An ice cream scoop. One chocolate ice cream. Grilled chicken. And last is a couple of burger buns. Wow, there are so many things in the crayons. Today we learned about different types of fruit, vegetables, and proteins. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Rainbow. Welcome to our toy food kitchen. Here's our first customer. She would like a strawberry cake for a birthday tea party. Can you help me find the strawberry we need to make the cake? Here's our first piece. Now, where's the second piece? Hmm. How about, oh, down here on the right. Let's see if it fits. It does. Strawberry. Let's put it back into the puzzle. It belongs right here. Oh, wow. We have our strawberry. Let's go make our cake. Now, I'll just slice it in two halves. And I'll get my bowl. And place your strawberry in the bowl. That's one, two. What else do we need? Hmm. Maybe a little bit of sugar. I think that's enough. And some flour. What else? Oh, some milk. And I have a cotton of eggs. How many are in there? There's six eggs. Which one shall we pick? How about this one at the back, the pink one? Ooh, it's all gooey inside. Great, that's one egg. And the last ingredient I'll use is some strawberry yogurt. Now, the next step is I'll get my mixer and mix the ingredients. Turn it on. Oh, look, you can see the ingredients mixing together. Nearly done. Turn the mixer off. Let's take a look at what we have. We have our pink cake mixture. Now all I need to do is press it into the shape of a cake. Next, I'll cook it in my toy oven. Close the door. I can see it's starting to cook. Oh, wow! Look at that! We made a giant strawberry squishy cake. Oh, I can't wait to show our customer. Now I'll just put it on this beautiful pink plate. Let's go take it to the counter. One strawberry squishy cake. The cake costs five coins. Let's count how many coins our customer gave us. That's one coin, two, three, four, and five. Great counting. Here's our next customer. He would like an avocado sandwich. Can you help me look for the avocado? Okay. Oh, I found the first piece. Let's go find the other half. Hmm, maybe it's over here. How about up here? Oh, I think I found it. Let's see if the two pieces fit together. They do. Avocado. Now let's put it back in the puzzle. Oh, wow. We have our avocado. Let's go prepare it in the kitchen. I'll just cut it in half. Great, we have some avocado slices. Now, I'll just get out this red tray to make our sandwich on. I have two slices of bread. They have sesame seeds on top. Now, where's my avocado? I'll place it right here. And what's next? How about a slice of tomato? Hmm, what else? Ah, yes, an onion ring. Hmm, 
how about a slice of cheddar cheese? And, oh, I know, some lettuce. And don't forget the cucumber. I have some mayo. How about we put this on top? Great. And add some mustard for some extra flavor. <laughs> I think that's enough ingredients in my sub sandwich. I'll just put the top on. Oh, look how many things are inside the sandwich. Let's go serve it up to our customer at the counter. The sandwich costs three coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them. That's one, two, and three. One sandwich coming right up. Our next customer would like some banana pancakes. Can you help me find the banana? Oh, I've already found one half. Now, where's the other half? Not here. <gasps> here it is. Let's put the pieces together. We did it! Banana! Now all I need to do now is place it into the puzzle. Oh, we have our banana. Let's take it to the kitchen. I'll just cut a slice. Great! Now all I need to do is make the pancakes. I'll just place the pancake pan on the grill. And I think I'll just put this little gob of butter in the middle. Oh, I can hear it sizzling, can you? I have a jug of pre-prepared pancake mixture. And I'll just place it carefully on the pan. Now let's watch it cook. Oh, I can see it bubbling. All done. I'll just flip it over. A little tricky. Oh, we did it! Now all I need to do is serve it up on the plate. Whoop! <laughs> there you go. Now let's decorate the top with the banana slices. That's one, two, and three. Oh, and how about some chocolate chips in the middle? Just put it on my pink plate and serve it up to the customer. Let's take it to the counter. The pancakes cost six coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four coins, five, and six. Banana pancakes coming right up. Here's our next customer. He would like a tropical fruit smoothie. Can you help me find the star fruit. I found the first half. Now where's the second half? Not here. How about over here on the left? Oh, I think I see it. Do you? Let's see if they fit together. They do. Star fruit. Now let's put it back in the puzzle. Uh, it goes right here. I'll just take it to the kitchen and start making the smoothie. First, I need to cut it in half. That's two slices. Let's put it into the blender. That's one and two. And let's look for the second tropical fruit, durian. Here's one half. Now, where's the other half? Is it over here? Hmm, maybe down here. Here it is. We found it. Let's put the two pieces together. Dorian, the king of fruit. Now where does it go in the puzzle? Right here. I'll take the durian to the kitchen and add it to the smoothie. Cut it in half. And put it into the blender. And look for one more piece of fruit. This is papaya. Can you help me find it? Here's the first half. Now where's the second half? Maybe over here. Here it is, down here. Let's put the pieces together. Do they fit? They do! Papaya! Now let's go put it in the puzzle. It goes right here. 
Great, we have our papaya. Now let's go to the kitchen. Now I'll just cut it in half and add it to the blender. That's one and two. Oh, I think I'll add some pineapple. That will go great in the tropical smoothie. That's one, two slices. Now I'll just add some milk. Put the lid back on the blender and turn it on. I can see it mixing, can you? Nearly done. Great, now where's my cup? And now I need a lid. And a straw. One tropical smoothie. The smoothie costs eight coins. Our customer gave us these coins. Let's count them together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. What would our next customer like? A watermelon popsicle. Can you help me find the watermelon? We found one half. Now where is the other half? Oh, up here. Let's put the puzzle pieces together. Great! Watermelon. Now let's put it in the puzzle. It goes here. We have a watermelon. Now let's go make that popsicle. First I'll cut a wedge. And now I'll take it to the refrigerator. Pop it inside. Close the door and wait for it to cool down. All done. Now let's take it out. What does it look like? Oh wow! It's a watermelon popsicle. Now let's take it to the counter and serve it up to our customer. The watermelon popsicle costs four coins. Let's count the number of coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, three, four. What would our next customer like? A kiwi ice cream. Can you help me find the kiwi? It's bright green. Here it is. We found it already. Now where's the other half? Ah, over here. Let's put the pieces together. Kiwi. Now where does it go in the puzzle? Up here. That's where it belongs. Great, we have our kiwi. Now let's go to the kitchen and prepare it. I have an ice cream maker. First I need to cut the kiwi in half. Now, I'll just lift this up and put my kiwi slices in here. One and two. I have an ice cream cup. And push the ice cream down. I can see it coming out, can you? Oh, look. This ice cream is going to be amazing. All done. Now, it's missing something. Oh, how about a red cherry on top? Looks great. I can't wait to serve it to the customer. This kiwi fruit ice cream costs two coins. Our customer gave us one, two coins. What's the next customer want? An apple and apricot pie. Let's go find the apple. Here's the first half. Now where's the second half? Oh, up here, we found it. Now let's put the two pieces together. Apple, can you help me put it back into the puzzle? Great job. We have our apple. Now all we need to do is look for the apricot. Hmm, here it is. And I think the other half is over here. 
let's put it together. It fits. Apricot. And it belongs right here. We have our two pieces of fruit. Now let's go make that pie. First, I'll cut the apple in half and put it into the pan. That's one, two slices. And next, I'll cut my apricot. That's another two slices. Just put it on top of the toy stove and turn it on. Wriggle it around a bit and mix it with a spatula. And I think I'll just put the lid on. Turn it off. I wonder if it's cooked. I'll just get my blender and mix up the ingredients. Oh, look, it's all mixed up. And I'll just put it into my pie dish. It's all sticky and gooey. Great, and now all I need to do is make the pastry on top. I'll just roll it out really flat, and then get my pie cutter and cut a big circle. Great, and take away the extra dough. Now I'll just carefully put it onto the top, and press it down with a fork all the way around. Hmm, I think it needs a decoration. How about I make a couple of leaves? I have a cutter. Oh, looks amazing. That's one leaf. Let's make another one. And we have another leaf. I'll just go cook it in the toy oven. Here you go. Close the door and turn it on. All done. Let's go give it to the customer. The pie costs 10 coins. Let's count the coins our customer gave us. That's one, two, three, four coins, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great counting! Wow, we made so many things today in our toy kitchen. Thanks for helping me. See you next time on Rainy Bow.